Does that make him all of a sudden kind of the de facto head of the Democratic Party in the state? Well, he is the uh, he is in as far as state office uh, state elected officials are concerned, he uh, may be considered the top official now, the de facto head of the party. Um, of course, U.S. Senator Kay Hagan is the, the lead of the delegation in Washington, but she's really con- not considered to be someone who has an awful lot of pull in state politics. He is that way, and what's what's interesting about it is that he has uh, ducked several opportunities to take that mantle on in the past. Uh, he chose not to run for governor in 2008 when the seat was open and when uh, when Beverly Purdue was sort of the surprise nominee, if you will, at the time. He chose not to run for governor in 2012 when Governor Purdue was very damaged, when she announced that she was not going to seek a second term. And he would have been someone who obviously would have been the choice to, a, a choice to run. Uh, Walter Dalton, the lieutenant governor, ran. But uh, Roy Cooper has a very, very strong political base in the uh, area. He's from Nash County and, and that general area of the eastern part of the state. Uh, and so he would have been a logical possibility to run. He dodged that opportunity to run, too. So he really hasn't picked many fights when it's come to, to elections, and this will be the, the first time in a long time he's done that.